everyone and today we're going to have a very exciting video we are going to be doing I believe eight upcoming simmers for the month of April if you do like this video please be sure to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications but more importantly than that please be sure to share this with your friends because I want to continue these series I've just really been enjoying them I hope you have been as well it's not that it's the most exciting thing in the world but it is a way to give some simmers some recognition, so I really hope that I can help them at least a little bit, and it kind of counts on you. So, I'm going to try to keep this nice, short, and sweet. I actually did record this before. I had a minor confusion issue, so basically we're re-recording this, and I am going to only spend a minute or two on each simmer. They deserve way more, but please go ahead and watch through this video because even though I will provide the links below, you will get the full experience kind of listening to why I like them and then you can see, you know, do you want to check them out or not? Hopefully you do. So first person on our list is Moon Simmer. And Moon Simmer, I actually somewhat became aware of Moon Simmer because she's been so supportive to my channel, which I know that's a little bit of a backwards kind of thing of how I usually nominate people. but. Once I kind of got to look at her channel, I was like, wow, I was just blown away. So recently, she reached 100 subs, which I'm not usually talking about subscribers, but the reason I'm talking about this is because she did this kind of special build. So she did her dream house. That was actually today as of this recording. It's really fun and it's also really great because you get to learn a little bit about her. That's personally my favorite thing, just learning about people. And she also did the Little Simsy Shell Challenge. So you did this really cute artsy cat lady apartment renovation. And the one that just awed me, and this is not usually my kind of thing, but it just awed me, is this Cinderella inspired castle. Now, if you guys feel like you've seen something like this before, just please hear me out. This is just gorgeously done. I cannot even imagine how long it took her to do. Absolutely beautiful. And she also does these really great voiceovers that I just feel like I really relate to her. So, just a great builder and great <laughs> voiceovers. So again, that is a Moon Simmer. Next up on my list is Kay Stray, and I also know Kay Stray for just how kind and genuine she is, and also for her builds. Now she does do some other things. She does do a Rags to Riches series, and she does do, I think it's called like my Nightmare Life series, right? But I know her most for her builds, so her builds are just all over the place in terms of different things she tries. She does do a lot of like more modern stuff in my opinion, but she has done some cozier stuff too. But she also does these really quirky builds, and you guys know how I feel about quirky builds, right? So this ice cream cone house. If you guys remember, I did an ice cream house, but like this, this is just, this is great. It's actually shaped like an ice cream cone. And every single level has a feature of a different flavor. I'm not going to talk too much about it, but I really loved that video. She's done some other funky things in the past too, so you definitely want to check her out. And like I said, she does also do Let's Plays, but she's just amazing. She's also really supportive. She's been a friend to me, and I just really appreciate her, and I really appreciate her channel. Also good voiceovers. K-Stray. Next up is A Girl Who Sims. Now, A Girl Who Sims is... Quite possibly she's very talented, one of the most talented I've seen in terms of using custom content really effectively in terms of her builds. So she just has these really detailed builds that are just really stunning. I'm going to look at this one. I think I saw this one even though it was 11 months ago. And she does these very detailed like room builds. If you ever like don't want a huge build. And you kind of want to just see how people decorate rooms. So she does a lot of room builds. Like I said, it is a lot of CC, but it's done so, so, so well. All the little details you would see in real life. Just gorgeous. She also does some kind of fun cast videos. And she recently created this challenge, the 10 minute apartment renovation challenge. She actually challenged me to it, which I really appreciated, but I don't know city living. So I had to do my own spin off of it, but she's just really creative great builder and just has some kind of fun whimsical ideas also usually has some really great music at least i personally think so and so they're just kind of a joy to watch to be honest with you so please check her out again that is the girl who sims a girl who sims symbiosis so symbiosis is also a very nice person you may have seen her if you didn't see this by the way this is a shout out to simmer boy even though simmer boy is not featured in this simmer boy makes the best mission of us ever 
and Symbiosis is Simself was featured in that alongside my Simself, so you definitely want to check that out. So sorry, a little, little extra push including the Simmer Boy in this yet again. But Symbiosis just has a great channel. She does casts and she does builds and these are whimsical, really imaginative, just really, really well done things. So we have this airplane crash home, which takes place like in this like jungle, very dense jungle area. Really gorgeous filming too, by the way, might I add. She also did some cast characters, as you can see, like Tangled and Rapunzel. She did The Little Mermaid. And everything she does, she just has this like really kind of quirky, very bright colors, just really imaginative makes you almost feel like you're in a different game. I just really, but it still fits in the game. I just really love it. So definitely check her out. Her name is Symbiosis. Next up is Glitterazzi. I pardon me if that's not how you're saying your YouTube name. And she, I know her most for her Let's Plays. So she has this random, random Gen X, no, perfect Gen X challenge in The Sims 3. You guys know how obsessed I am with Sims 3 stuff. So definitely check that out if you are interested in Sims 3 content. She's also currently doing the Asylum Challenge for Sims 4. I also think the Asylum Challenge is just one of those things that are just really fun to watch. And so those are the two that I can most recommend. However, very recently, I also started watching this BitLife Controls My Sims. And honestly, I was like, I don't know if I really care about BitLife. I'm not a BitLife person. But guys, I really enjoy this because she's really building up like the family dynamics. And I'm really personally interested and excited to see where it goes. Also, just really quick heads up, she also does Stardew Valley. So if you're interested in maybe something away from The Sims every once in a while, definitely check that out. I don't know exactly how it goes. I honestly haven't watched those. But like I said, if you like Stardew Valley, definitely check that out as well. She is a good narrator too, which is really important. Next up on our list is, I believe it's Toki. So pardon me if I'm not pronouncing your name correctly. So Toki, um, I almost didn't include Toki just because usually my role is, you know, like has to have several uploads. However, as you can kind of tell, like probably guess, Toki has been around and it looks like, I think from what I had heard, she had had a channel before and took a break and came back. So I just would like you guys to give her a chance, give her a warm welcome back. She just started this Let's Play. I don't know if she intends to do other things concurrently, but this Let's Play caught my imagination so much that I felt like I just wanted to include her, kind of like on a whim. And so it is Into the Future Sims Free, and I know some of you guys didn't like Into the Future Sims Free, but like, it's not really about the pack for me. It's about her narrative style. It's about the really crazy relationship between these three people, which you'll find out. And honestly, I was just so entertained. So please give that a chance. I am really looking forward to the next episode of that. So that's Toki. Second to last, but certainly not least, is Karen Curran, I think. <laughs> so she goes by Karen. And I, as usual, butcher all names. Now she does Sims Mobile. She just does Sims Mobile. So I thought it was really cool to include this. And I would like to start including more games besides just like the regular Sims 4. Maybe if you know anyone who does like console, please let me know in the comments below. So I was really impressed because I've always been like, I don't care about Sims Mobile, right? It's just not my thing. However, she just does such a great job. She makes me care. And that is just awesome. She does these house hopping series. So she goes and she tours these homes. And if you really enjoy anything like that in the regular Sims 4, you probably enjoy this because you would be amazed at what you can actually build in Sims Mobile. And some of the stuff they have is actually really cool. Beyond that, she does these like little quests and they're just really fun. They're like feature quests that she did like a spy one. She's doing like backyard kind of barbecue stuff. She's just done a lot of really cute stuff, a lot of cute little gameplay, lots of house tours, and all of her videos tend to be, you know, 10 minutes and under. So there's just these like short little vignettes and I just think they're really like enjoyable and they're just cheerful. So definitely check that out. Again, that's Karen Curran, I think. <laughs> and last but not least is Hazy Simmer. So Hazy Simmer is uh, someone who is a little bit actually newer to me, but not newer to the community, and she's got a, you know, a bit of a more prominent channel, and she is just so talented I had to include her. I don't know. I always have someone that I wasn't necessarily planning to include, and then I have to, 
Now, the reason I became most aware of her very recently is honestly this goth residence renovation. It was this battle between all these simmers and it was such a hard thing for me because you're supposed to like vote on them to see who did the best. By the way, you guys should totally check out that, that, that whole thing because it was really great. But I have to say like she impressed me so much with her cinematic skills, her filming skills. Like you might have never seen anything like this. Like just the way she edits things. It literally looks completely professional. She is also an excellent builder, but I mean everything she did, she's just completely professional. I was just blown away. She also does a lot of cast videos and a lot of them are more unique. So she did do this country's cast collab. So I don't know who she collabed with. I don't remember. But just things like that that are just unique and interesting. You can probably tell by her thumbnails that this is very professionally done. So if you are looking for anyone who just has excellent editing and has a really artistic spin on things, definitely check her out. That is Hazy Simmer. And on that note, that does end this video. I do apologize if I was A, rambling, or B, it was too long for you. Please also give me feedback in the comments if there's like a specific type of simmers you would like me to feature for the next month. And please be sure to remember to share this so we can do this next month. Thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you for creating great content. I really love doing this. I love you all. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. Bye guys.